Hello friends, I'm Naishik from blogtoot.com and today I have a very special announcement for you guys. Now whenever I create a website tutorial like the e-commerce one, the listing website or the dropshipping or any other tutorial for that sake, I get some common questions in all those videos like hey, I am done creating a website, now what? Or maybe how to generate more sales or my website is very slow, how should I increase the speed or sometimes my website is taking a lot of time to load how to fix that and some you know really common questions i get them all the time now to tackle this i have decided to create a new series wherein every week i'll show you how to fix these common issues like in one week we'll see how to rank higher in google then in another week maybe we'll see how to make your website secure etc now let me tell you about the first video that I'll be making in this series. Now a few days ago I got a mail from one of my subscribers, I hope he's a subscriber. That is Santosh Reddy, Indian guy I guess or maybe I don't know, a name is Indian. So Santosh Reddy that uh, he said that he's getting an error uh, which says your CPU is 100% in, in usage. Then what happened is I checked his website with GT metrics and I found that there was something really wrong going on over there. So in that video, I'll show you how you can tackle that problem. How you, why do you get that problem? Your hundred percent CPU usage. So basically when we create website with the WordPress, WordPress is based on PHP language. PHP is kind of heavy language and WordPress is itself a very heavy software, very heavy uh, content management system, CMS. And then we use many different plugins, many themes. So all these things make your website very, very heavy. And whenever someone visits your website, you know, it, give, it gives a lot of pressure to the CPU. It utilizes a lot of resources. So that is what the problem is. So we have to do something. Okay, most of the time I just create a tutorial, like I said, the e-commerce one, all those tutorials. Now those are three and a half hours, four hours, two and a half hours long tutorial. Now I don't show how what to do next uh, because that tutorial is very specific. I just wanted to cover how to create an e-commerce website. Now if I cover all these things, how to create and how what to do after that, it will be like, it will just be like 10, 12, 15 hours long video, which no one would ever watch. I'm sure about that. So I cannot show you in that videos how we can do that. So this is the purpose of creating this series. But what I was expecting this, uh, what I was expecting is that whenever people watch my video, after that, they might be seeing some other video, how to do proper SEO, how to secure their website. In fact, I myself have few videos related to that. So that is what I was expecting. But the guy which messaged me, I, I just came to know about this problem that there are many people who just create a website and they upload it on the web as I show them, but they don't do anything after that. So that is a problem. You can get into really pro serious problems. Your website will not rank higher will not get proper traffic. You know, that website will take a lot of time to load page speed will be very slow. So I hope this, I'm very sure this video tutorial, this, this complete series that I'm going to start will be very, very helpful for you guys. Okay. So let me know what are your thoughts on this? What do you want to learn uh, in this uh, series? Or maybe if you think I should not start this series, you can let me know. Or if you have spe uh, specific problems that you're facing, you can let me know about that in the comment section below. Okay guys, so this is, this is it. Okay, so this was the announcement. Okay guys, so see you in that video, whatever video I'll upload next, okay? So take care and obviously don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give a thumbs up to this video. See you soon.